Shalom, shalom to the nation of Israel. Before we get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Berkahak Badash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David. 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, shalom, right? So, um, you know, this your brother Shapai, man, so I just wanted to come back in. I've been, had, went to sleep, you know, took a little nap. Um, had to go take my vehicle in a day, you know, for a little problem. I thought it was a big problem. He got, dude got in the truck and was like, boop, boop, boop. Little, cause, you know, because truck vehicles nowadays ain't nothing but big-ass computers anyway. <laughs> so he fixed it from inside the truck by hitting the, the menu and resetting some stuff. But anyway, I was thinking about um, how, how fortunate, how bad, and how fortunate that we are the Israelites according to the Scripture. I mean, because the, the, the Scriptures is written to a certain people yeah it mentions other nations in there but it's written to a certain group of people so let's start off with this one let's start off with um isaiah 30 and let's start up first and then come down let's go isaiah 30 and 8 now write now go write this Write it before them in a table, and note it in a book, that it may be for a time to come forever and ever, the Bible. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits, right? Get, get you out of the way, turn aside, out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word, and trust in, in oppression and perverseness, and stay thereon. Therefore, this inequity shall be... So even right there, in those, those little those verses right there... You see that the Lord sent, sent his men to the house of Israel, lying people, rebellious, don't want to hear the word of the Lord, but he is the Holy One of Israel. And then in the same breath, he turned around and say, well, if you want to stay there with perverseness and all of that, stay there wrong. See, so like I said, man, the script is good and bad in the scriptures according to us being the Israelites. You know, we, we was looked at to, to to act a certain way, live a certain way, conduct ourselves a certain way. The Lord looked at us a certain way. And because he looked at us a certain way, we going to get judged and treated a certain way, right? Therefore, 13, therefore, this inequity shall be, at, be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking come of suddenly... At an instance, right? Let's go. 15. For thus saith the Lord power, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest shall be saved, and quietness and confidence shall be your strength, and ye would not. Yeah, see? Saying, return to me, and I'll be your strength and your rest. But you, you would not. You would not, right? Let's go. Let's keep 18. And therefore will the Lord wait that he may be gracious unto you. And therefore will he be exalted that he may have mercy upon you. For the Lord is a power of judgment. Blessed are all they that wait for him. For the people shall dwell in Zion at Jerusalem. Thou shalt weep no more. 
he will be very gracious unto thee at the voice of thy cry when he shall hear it he will answer thee and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction yet shall not thy teachers be removed unto a corner anymore but thine eyes shall see thy teachers and you you see that now the men on the highways bringing out the truth of the scriptures as opposed to the pastors in the church that's been deceiving you all that time I swear like three different precepts came in my head let's get this one first while I was read, just reading those couple of scriptures there a, a bunch came in my head let's get this one first Hosea chapter 5 verse 15 I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face in their affliction they will seek me early who will seek me early let's get this let's go Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6 for the Lord for thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power the Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth the Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because ye were more in number than any people for ye were the fewest of all people but because the Lord loved you see because the Lord loved this is why he putting us through all of this but because the Lord loved you and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers have the Lord brought you out of the out with the mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the, the, the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt yeah know therefore that the Lord thy power he is power the faithful power which keep of his keep of covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations to a thousand generations man the Lord never changed man Malachi 3 and 6 the Lord never changed Christianity changed it to oh the whole world God loves the whole world not even Jesus Jesus loved the whole world Malachi 3 and 6 for I am the Lord I change not therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed yeah we, it, the, 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 the scriptures is clearly written to the Israelites, man. Clearly written to the Israelites, man. Let's get another one. Let's go. Let's go Acts 5 and, let's get that one. Acts. Acts 5 and 29, I think it started around, around there. Acts 5 and 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey power rather than men. The power of our father raised up Yahushai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath, him hath power exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin this is the lord's people man this is the lord's people um back to deuteronomy let's go back to deuteronomy so it, it it's the script are we racist or 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 to, uh, according to how they say we teach the scriptures is the scriptures racist is the lord racist <laughs> do the lord did the lord choose somebody did the Lord choose a certain nation over everybody else? Deuteronomy 32 and 8. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people, Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. See, the Lord, there's the Lord. The Lord wrote the scriptures a certain way, man. The certain way to the Israelites, man. 
and if it was cut and dry where it went in there and said that you will be called black and African American in the future, and I want you to know that you're the, the, the true people of the Bible, they would have never let the Bible, they'd have burnt the Bible. <laughs> they would have straight burnt it. Revelation 11 and... Because what it says, um, Jeremiah 17 and 4, we will discontinue from our heritage, right? Revelation 11, and let's start at 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of that great city. I know I seen some little bird. And their great body, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of that great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt where also our Lord was crucified. So, yeah, our dead bodies spiritually, not, uh, uh, yeah, physically we're getting killed, but spiritually we're getting killed too. Phys physically, I mean spiritually. We didn't know who we are. 21, Proverbs 21 and 16, is that it? Let's see. Look, here you go. Proverbs 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. See? 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 So that understanding, we were spiritually dead. That's what them dead bodies is. We were spiritually, we did not know who we were. Matter of fact, let's get it, let's get it here. Let's get it on um, Jeremiah. I quoted it. Let's get it. We discontinue from our heritage, so we were spiritually dead, and our dead bodies is lying in the streets here. Jeremiah 17 and 4, And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, and will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for he hath kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. See? So we lost our heritage, man. We lost our heritage. 11 and 8 again. And day of it, Salakia. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of, that, of the great city, excuse me, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their bodies, their dead bodies, three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another, because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. And after three days and a half, 300, 300, 300, um, 350 years, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from power entered into them, and they stood upon their feet a great, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Yeah, because we standing up. Like I started off, your, your eyes shall see your teacher. So as you see more and more men of the Lord out there on the corner, bringing out the truth of the scriptures, people are afraid. You got, even got our people that's afraid. The Christian pastors, fake ass apologists or whatever the case may be, um, the women that love this society, love how they're treated and elevated in this society, it's a lot. Let's get over to Okay, right? Great fear fell upon them. Why did great fear fell, fall, fell upon them? This is why. Psalms 83. Psalms 83 and... Let's start at one. A song or a song of As Asaph. Keep thou, keep not thou silent, O power. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O power. For lo, thy enemies make atonement, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones, right? Because we was, we was discontinued from our heritage. 
we was the hidden ones because we didn't know who we was, right? I didn't know I was an Israelite, right? So, so, but watch, watch this. And what have they consulted to do? Let's do number four. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of who? The name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And so they can't apply to the heads over there. They got a whole, um, they got the whole nation of Israel set up over there. You know what I'm saying? The, the small hat, um, 1948 is Belfort Declaration. They got a whole nation over there. They run around the world telling everybody, you know, and if you say anything against them, what? You anti-Semitic, right? So we can't be talking about these heads. Let's get this one, Ezekiel 37. Let's get there. Let's get there. Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 37 and 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones, right? Now let's see what these bones is, right? Because we were already done established that we was in um, dead bodies lying in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. We done read Congregation of the Dead. We done read these things, right? Already, right? They done trying to cut us off from being a nation, right? And caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in an open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord, power, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord, power, unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. I will lay sowings upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there were a noise, and behold, a shaking, and, and the bones came together. We just read great fear fell upon them when they when we stood up a great army that was in Revelation 11 and 11 and the bones came together bone to his bone and when I beheld lo the sewings and the flesh came up upon them and the skin covered them above but there was no breath in them then said he unto me prophesy unto the wind prophesy son of man and say to the wind thus saith the Lord power come from the four winds, O oh, breathe, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. Let's get this one. Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions, and the house of Jacob their sins. Right? Go out there and speak to the people, man. This is what the Lord said. Go out there and speak to his people, man. Let's back to 37. Back to 37. 37 and 10. So I prophesied as he commanded. He just said, spare not, lift up thy voice, right? Show Jacob. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into, into them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Matches back up with Revelation 11 and 11. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. So all that we just read is talking about the whole house of Israel. Who the who Psalms 83 said that all the nations was confederate trying to make sure we don't know the name of Israel is not remembered. And in Jeremiah 17 and 4, we read that we will discontinue from our heritage. Ezekiel 11, 37 and 11. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dry and our hope is lost. We are cut off from our, for our parts. Because they, and they say that there is no hope. 
that the Lord coming back. The Lord done forgot us, and we gonna just be content here in Esau's wicked system, cause we don't have to worry about the Lord coming. He's not coming back. But look what the Lord said in twelve. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power, Behold, O my people, I will open up your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. Then we just read in Proverbs 21 and 16, the congregation of the dead, right? Coming up out them graves. And ye shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves. And I shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. Then shall ye know that I, the Lord, have spoken it, and performed it, saith the Lord. Let's get this one. This one came into my mind right there. Hosea chapter 1 verse 10. Let's get this. Watch this. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, right? Which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, <laughs> you can't make this up. And it was and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power. That match up again with Jeremiah 17 and 4. That match back up with Ezekiel 37th chapter. They, 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 they don't want us to come back to the knowledge and understanding that we are who we are, man. According to the scriptures, man. Let's get... Because they know what happens when they come back. Let's get it. Let's go here. Revelation. Let's go back to Revelation. Where is it at? Revelation 2 and 26. 2 and 26. So they knows what they know what happens when we when we wake up. That's why it's fair on. It. Let's go. Um this is Red Letter, Yahweh Shah um speaking. 25. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come, and he that overcometh. And keep of my works unto the end. To him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with the rod of iron. As the vessel of a potter shall they be broken to shivers as I receive of my father. See? So now here you go. Right? Let's go to Psalms now. Second chapter. Psalms 2 and 8. The, clearly the Lord chose a, a, a particular nation over all the other nations. And at the end, because of the oppression that the other nations did to the nation that he chose, when the Lord chose to punish us, he's going to come back and he's going to take it out on them. He's going to tear them up, man, especially Edomites, man. Psalms 2 and 8. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen. For thine inheritance, and up uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with the rod of iron, thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. <laughs> be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Yeah, man. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Yeah. Let's keep going. Let's go. Luke. 1 and 33. Let's get that one. 1 and 31, I think it might be. And we read earlier in Acts, um, Acts 5 and, and, and 31 um, to give repentance to Israel. Let's go Luke 1 and 31. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Yahweh. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord power shall give unto him the throne of, thy, of his father David, of his father David, 
and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever and his kingdom. There shall be no end. See? Kingdom forever. Let's get this one. Let's go. Daniel. Daniel 7 and 14. I think or 18. Let's see. 13. Daniel 7 and 13. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nation, and languages should serve him. Not should serve him. Not we going to all be equal. Should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away. And his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. Let's go 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Who is the saints? Let's get that one. Let's go. Let's go. Where is it at? Psalms 148, 14, 13. Psalms 148 and 13. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and the heaven, for he exalted the horn of his people. See how the Lord, the, the Lord is the, the Lord is the one that said, yo, I'm dealing with this nation over everybody else. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. See? The Lord did this, man. It's the Lord that chose Israel. And we read that in Deuteronomy. Why he chose? Because he loved us, man. He loved the nation of Israel. Let's matter of fact, let's get that. Let's get Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word that the Lord have spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Amos 3 and 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Now remember how I like the song Joy and Pain? Now that was the joy. The Lord chose us over all the families of the earth. Now watch the pain part. Therefore I will punish you for all your inequities. That's the pain right there. Let's get this one, Jeremiah. Like I said, man, the descriptions is, is, is joy and it's pain. It's happiness and it's sorrow in here. Lamentations, mournings, and woes. Where that, um, let's get this one. Right, let's stay focused. Let's get this one, Jeremiah 15 and 1. Then said the Lord unto me, though Mo through Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be towards this people, Cast them out of my sight. Here comes some pain. <laughs> and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass. If they say unto thee. Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them. Thus saith the Lord. Such, are at, such as are for death to death. And such as are for the sword to the sword. And such as are for the famine to the famine. And such as are for the captivity captivity to the captivity and I will appoint over them four kinds saith the Lord the sword to slay the dogs to tear the fowls of heaven the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy and I will cause them to be removed unto all kingdoms scattered into all nations that go back to the curse of Deuteronomy chapter 28 I think around 47 37 or 47 them to be removed into all kingdoms of the earth because of Mahasad the son Hezekiah king of Judah for that which he did in Jerusalem. See? So the Lord chose us and he put it on us because we would not listen. But let's get this one. Let's get this one. Romans. Back to back to some joy. Let's get back to some joy. We read some pain. Let's get back to some joy. Romans chapter 11 verse 1. I say then. Have power cast away his people? Y'all forbid. 
for I am, I also am an Israelite, not a, 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 a whole world light, a Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. Yahweh have not cast away his people, which he foreknew that he promised. We read that. Won't ye not what the scripture saith of Elias, how he make up intercession to power against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thy altars, and I am left alone and they seek my life. Because Israel is wicked, man. We just read they are lying, they wicked, they rebellious. You know what I mean? But we go down to 26. Let's get some more um, joy. Let's get some more joy. <laughs> 25. For I would not, brethren, that ye would be ignorant of this mystery. Ye, least, ye cons you sh least ye should be wise in your own conceits. That that blindness in part is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. Oh, the Gentiles right there. Love, well, no. No. 1 Corinthians 12 and 1. No. Now, brethren, not Shalaki, now, um, 1 Corinthians 12 and 1. Now, concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would ha not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles, Carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. See? So, no, the Gentiles are talking about the Israelites, man. So, don't they, they, they don't know the scriptures, man. They are not, not knowing the scriptures, right? So, let's read it again. For I would not, brethren, that ye would be ignorant of this. Man. And then you go over to Romans 9. There it goes. It goes. Romans 9 and 4. Who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenant and the giving of the laws and the service of power and the promises? Who's our fathers? Because your father determines who you are, man. The seed determines who you are. Who are fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh, <laughs> of the flesh, Hamashiach came, who is over all, Yahweh blessed forever, amen. Yeah. Let's go eight. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. <laughs> These are not the children of power, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed, your father, for the seed, see? So, yeah, so there it goes, you just, it say that dead, and they'll go there, oh, see right there, it's, no, 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 the, the scriptures say the same thing all over the place, for Romans 11 and 25, for I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of the, this mystery, least ye should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part uh, is happening to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. And so all Israel shall be saved. Romans 11 and 26. And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. There shall come out of Zion the deliverer. And we read in Acts um, 5 and 31. Who the deliverer out of Zion is come to deliver. For, um, repentance for the uh, sins of Israel. There shall come out of Zion a deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness in Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away their sins. We done read that before. Israel. Let's get this one. Second Edris. I know I'm probably going too long, but you know, the spirit get on you and you know you start you start going, man. What you going to do, man? Let's go. Second Edges 3 and 14. Him thou lovest, and unto him only thou showest thy will, and madest the everlasting covenant with him, promising him that thou wouldest never forsake his seed. Not with an S. Seed. Singular. And unto him thou gavest Isaac, and unto Isaac also thou gavest Jacob and Esau, right? So it's two people. Now watch what this say. Second Edges 3 and 16. And unto him thou gavest Isaac, and unto Isaac 
also thou gavest Jacob and Esau. As for Jacob, thou didst choose him to thee, and put by Esau, and put by Esau. And so Jacob became a great multitude. See? Yeah. And what? We got this one in Galatians 3. That match up with this one. Great Galatians 3. Precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. Galatians 3 and 16. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He have not and to the seeds as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed one, <laughs> which is Hamashiach. And this I say that the covenant that was confirmed before Hamashiach in, in Yahweh um, um, Shai um, Tzlaki. seven Galatians 3 and 17. And this I say that the covenant that was confirmed before of Yahweh in Hamashiach, the law, which was 430 years after, cannot disannul, cannot disannul that it should make the promise of none effect. For if the inheritance be of the law, it is no more promise. But power gave it to Abraham by promise. The Lord promised to Abraham he was going to take care of his seed, man. Let's go Sirach 36 and 11. Let's get that, see what that one is. Six and eleven. Mm. <laughs> Sirach thirty six and eleven. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together, the whole world of Jacob together, whose name was changed to Israel, and inherit thou them as from the beginning. As from the beginning, the Lord never changed. O Lord, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name. And upon Israel, whom thou hast named thy firstborn. O be merciful unto Jerusalem, thy holy city, the place of thy rest. Fill Zion with thy unspeakable oracles, and thy people with thy glory. Yeah. Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning, <laughs> and raised up prophets. That have been in thy name. Reward them that wait for thee. And let thy prophets be found faithful. Yeah man. Come on let's get a couple more. We get out of here. I got that. Matthew 13 52. Let's see what that look like. Yeah I think I done proved the point. The Lord chose Israel man. Period man. <laughs> the Lord... The Lord chose one nation over everybody else, man. You can spin it how you want to spin it, man. 51, Matthew 13 and 51. Yahweh Shai saith unto them, Have ye understood all these things? They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Then said he unto them, Therefore every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is a householder. Which bringeth forth out of his treasure things new and old. Yeah. Things that's going to come to pass in the future. Prophesied by, say, um, MOTB, um, Jacob's Trouble, and things like that. But then also prophesied things of old. Like the covenant that was only um, um, agreed to and made with, with Israel. Let's get this one. Psalms. Let's get this one. This is a prime example. Joy and pain of the scriptures, man. Psalms 147, 19, and 20. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them praise the Lord. Yeah, he only chose Israel, man. He only chose Israel, man. He only chose Israel. Let's get this one. Revelation 20 and 10, or 21 and 10. Let's go 
Let's go. Let's start at one and jump down. Revelation 21 and, and 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth passed away. And there was um, second edge of 6 and 9. Um, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. This is Jacob's world right here. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth was were passed away, and there was no more sea, right? And John saw the holy city, city New Jerusalem, coming down from have from power, out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband, right? Now let's get down to it. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem. Descending out of heaven from Yahweh, right? Having the glory of power, and her light was like unto a stone. Excuse me, Salakia. And her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, right? Now, here go the point. And had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the twelve, the and at the gate twelve angels and names written thereon which are the names of the twelve tribes of Israel see so how is anybody else going where where's they well, they got the twelve gates for the twelve tribes of Israel with the twelve angels watching it and then they gonna have a side gate for everybody else Yeah, man, the Lord chose Israel, man. On the on the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. That's it, man. The twelve, the twelve, that right, that we could close out right there, man. We could close out right there. You read down and go 21. And the 12 gates were 12 pearls. Every um se every several gate was of one pearl. And the street was a city of pure gold. And it was transparent and glass. Yeah, man. 12 gates, man, for the 12 tribes of Israel, man. So, yeah, we're going to close out. Hope I didn't go too long, man. But the spirit, like I said, the spirit, spirit be telling you to do what it do. <laughs> So with that one, we're going to say all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekahakwadash. Double honor to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. That's out here diligently, man, in defense of the scriptures, man. No, no gimmicks, no bullshit, no senseless debates, no... Rap music, rap videos, no no graffiti, spraying graffiti, marching with guns, dance contests, um, rap concerts, wrestling matches. They ain't doing none of this bullshit, man. They just giving you the truth of the scriptures, man. To the remnant, meant the, to the to the hopeful elect scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men that scattered into all nations. That look like some of all people around the world, so we're not black Hebrew Israelites, right? Um, Shalom, Barak Adam, you know what I'm saying? To the remnant, men, women, children, remain spiritual out there. Call me Yashirala and the Bible, Bible. Barak Adam, your family, Shalom.